Hello everyone, welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro, I'm Catherine. Now if you're a DIYer like me, you can save a lot of money. So when you want to buy something, you have it to spend. Like when you want to buy art pieces for your home. I like what Tamala says, a touch of whimsy. This particular piece came from TJ Maxx. It's about 36 by 36 inches and I just wanted to have it. I'm going to show you how I placed it on my wall using painter's tape to basically find where the nails were going to be placed. Well, the painter's tape marks the slots and I'm able to just use a marker marker to fill in those spaces. I remove the tape and I place it on the wall and make sure that it's level. Now this piece weighs about 10 pounds so I made sure there was an anchor in the wall before I inserted the screw. This piece is now hanging in our master bedroom. Now although my art is about a year old, these pieces are currently at home goods and they measure 20 to 24 inches by 20 to 24 inches and you can see here what the price is. Now it's my opinion that metal art continues to be trending. I love the floating rings. I just love it and I especially love this piece here but it's very expensive. So when I ran across this deal at a liquidation store for only $19 it weighs 21 pounds and yes it had a few scratches on it. So of course my standard took care of that and then some silver spray paint. And this piece is now hanging in my craft room directly behind my work table. And here's how I attached it to the wall. I traced it and then I cut out my template and placed it on the wall. I knew exactly where I needed to place my anchors and my screw will go in. So it took two people to hold it while I screwed it into the wall. We ended up flipping it because of the studs in the wall. Now be sure to select the right screw and anchor size, especially based upon the weight of your art. I just love equestrian art, sculptures, pictures, I love it all. And back in the very back of Home Goods in the clearance section is where I found it. Yes, the base was already cracked. I used my hammer to tap on it a few times and look what happened. <gasps> yep, just lift the horse right off of the base. And then I grabbed my sander. You know, I had to smooth down those edges before I placed it on the mantle. So my next adventure for this piece would be to paint it and probably mount it on a piece of marble or metal. Now this picture above the mantle is from the company Art Me Out. I'll put the link to Art Me Out in the information box of this video. Now I do prefer to keep clean lines when I'm decorating so you see the rugged horse and this piece of driftwood. This is a showroom at Macy's and I love this driftwood piece here. We also visited Jackal Island and went on to Driftwood Island and there was driftwood everywhere, everywhere but you know it wasn't half as much as it used to be because of the hurricane but you can definitely find some pretty good pieces there. Now I really love texture and this tasseled throw is one of my favorites. I got it from TJ Maxx for like 19 bucks. Every now and then I'll add a pop of color to my florals, but the majority of the time they're simply just green. Now of course you've seen my kitchen for fall so you know that I did use some fall colors but just this simple arrangement in this vase that I got from Goodwill for $10 and I had it appraised and it's worth $100. So um, I just simply added a tassel to it, popped in the greenery in the top and I loved it. I posted this picture on Instagram back in March and I never thought that I would walk into Ross and see two of these bases and I was so in love with these guys and I bought both of them and during the summer for a short time I did use one of them as part of a centerpiece. Here's another play on texture, this Caprice tray. It's beautiful, it's blue, and I think I paid 19 bucks at um, Home Goods for it. This is a piece from TJ Maxx of it, and it has a little bit of weight to it, guys, and I just love how it pops in this room. Now, these purchases in this video, they are not one big shopping haul. You go into our family room, this was a sculpture that I got from Home Goods this past summer. I thought it was just adorable. I love this bronze piece, and you know, I swapped it out with the reindeer for the fall season but it'll come back out in January. My love for topiaries is eternal. This was my inspiration picture that I found and I'm not sure where I got it from. This is one of the two topiary trees that I DIY'd last Christmas. 
To update them, the finials were spray painted silver. I got those from Hobby Lobby, by the way. They were 50% off. And the topiaries are now residing in two trash cans. They were ready to be transferred from the old pots because I had wrapped cloth around them. Basically, a couple of my husband's t-shirts. I'd wrapped those around the concrete blocks and I just simply lifted them out and placed them in the trash cans. And here's where I am applying the moss to the top of the concrete. So that was pretty easy. You just basically cut it and then make sure that you make an X so you can wrap that around that dowel. Now botanicals and giant florals are just making a strong appearance right now. I purchased my print at a liquidation store for 10 bucks. It's now valued at $110. If you're really interested in botanical prints, check out Pinterest first because there are free downloads and printables that you can take advantage of. I just made a purchase of two large botanicals. These, yep, they allowed me to take one of them home to see if I would like it in my space. Shame on them. Shame on them. Well, that's it for me, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope that you enjoyed this video and seeing how I expressed myself with art throughout our home. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so today. And remember, turn on your notifications so you don't miss a single video. Thanks a lot for watching. And as always, stay in prayer and stay creative.